Hi there awesome friends, so today we're going to do something a little bit different, a break away from making an ATC and I thought you'd actually enjoy this, it's also once again bashing our stash. On my desk was this little advertisement that was around a bottle of pina colada alcohol and how to make different um, cocktails and I loved the little book and today I had an idea on what we're going to do with it. So using our copper tape and our metal tape, I thought it'll be nice to do it with both. The copper tape and the metal tape are the same width, you can see there, which is awesome. And can you believe it, the little book is just slightly bigger. So this is great. We are going to crumple this tape, the copper tape, so that it's easier to use and also that it gives it some interesting um, creases. And you can actually hear, listen how thin the tape is, I don't know if you can hear, if I crumple the aluminium tape, definitely much, much thicker and it doesn't have that crackly sound. Okay, so, as per, per the previous video I've done on the copper tape, it is harder to handle and an aluminium tape so we are going to place our little advertising brochure directly if I can get it right onto the tape there you go advertising brochure is on the copper tape and smoothing it down from the back and then smoothing it down from the front so you need to work a little bit carefully with the copper tape because it is so thin. So make sure that if you're using a credit card, it doesn't have any little hooky pieces on it because it will tear your copper tape. And then using a piece of metal tape, we are going to, I don't like that corner that I just tore. So let's make sure this is the right length. Nope. Sorry, I accidentally tore that piece of tape and I don't want that. Okay. And remember, this tape is a little bit easier to handle and I want to show you what I've just done. I tore that, but I'm going to rescue it. You know. Okay, I think I patched it. Okay. Done and dusted. And now we need to trim the edges, but before we do that, I'm using my paper stump just to smooth down the edge. And there. Okay, I'm not going to use a blade to trim because I'm, a, I'm scared that it slips. There's about a millimeter or two on the edge that I'm trimming off here. And I'm trimming right against the edge of the little advertising brochure. Okay. I often keep interesting brochures and tags from, you know, from my groceries or clothing to try and utilize in a project along the way so today let's see what we can make i love the idea of of having i actually want the copper to be outside so i'm going to turn it the other way there you go of having a little 
a little what, concertina booklet. What would you call that? I want to trim this piece here. Okay. Once again, just smooth that down nicely. And smooth that down nicely. Now we have basically a silver and copper little booklet. And what are we going to do with it? So I thought this is a cute gift to include in a happy mail or in your journal. So let's see. I have a few goodies that I've been prepping on this side. And I thought, well, let's see what we can do with them. So inside here, I have already put a few little die cuts. Can you see? And we are going to use our metal tape to make some embellishments. And I'm going to show you a trick. We are not going to put the metal tape on the back here. We are going to place the copper tape on top of the metal tape as best you can. Okay. Okay. And you're probably wondering what the heck am I doing today? But this is a cool trick that I literally just thought of while we are working together. So I hope it works. And I made two little bees. I thought they're so cute. Once again using the pen because the pen is smoother than your pewter tools or your dot hot tools um, it glides better so you can certainly use your tools on the copper tape but I prefer to use the pen it's you know less likely to tear your copper and here we go outlining the flower doing some detail and this is just a little paper die cut that's underneath the, the tape. Um, so one of my American friends calls them paper stencils. I've never heard that before. But I suppose they could be paper stencils. And I'm hand drawing some detail onto this. For some interest. Remember, the more you work with your tape, the prettier it will be. And again, outlining the bee. And it is quite reflective, I must admit. Struggling to see nicely. But I think the little bee is going to be gorgeous. Okay. And doing the detail on the wings and on the body. And as I said, I cannot see properly because it is so reflective. It seems to be worse than the actual metal tape. Okay, so I think I've kind of circled those. I want to show you. Can you see? And now, I see I missed a little dot here. It's a little dot. Now I'm going to use my Sharpie marker. Because I want the detail to pop a bit. And remember, I only coloured in one of the bees or traced one of the bees. So I'm going to cut them apart. And leave the other bee for a different project. Just let that dry a moment and uh, use my book. In the meantime, I wanted to show you that I had, whoopsie, that I had already prepped um, these lovely imprints and I put them onto a thick metal tape so that I can use them to be, to stick. I don't have to worry about sticking, but I wanted to show you the difference between 
buffing them and not buffing them. So this I colored with the black Sharpie and the one on the on the left is completely um, original. No Sharpie, no buffing. But look at the difference in the color and the look. I must admit that if you are doing something with detail on your copper tape, it is worth inking it. So we'll ink this one as well. Okie dokie. So ink that one there and let that dry. In the meantime, I'm going to fussy cut my little mandala art. And this is an imprint of a, mandala, uh, of a template that I bought many years ago, so you're not, you're not able to get them anymore. But they are the most beautiful mandalas. And I have a dog as well, which is gorgeous. They just give so much detail. I'm very glad I invested in them because they were custom made, they're handmade, um, and very limited um, quantities at the time. So I think I've got three different mandalas and the dog, and I'm very happy I have them. They give such a pop to any project you're doing. Okie dokie, so that one's fussy cut, and there you can see, and now we are going to buff this up, or buff the ink off. And you can see how it pops. slight border around everything. I think you can see there. Just about half a millimeter around the edge. So it is quite important here to make sure that you don't cut right to the edge otherwise your die cut is going to peel out on the sides. Which I don't want to happen. There you go, and let's cut out the bee. Same thing here, I'm leaving a little edge all the way around. I'm not cutting right against the edge of the die cut. And a little bit time consuming, but the embellishments are really beautiful. Okie dokie. So remember when you fussy cut, you turn your, your um, paper or your tape, you don't turn your scissors. So you can see the angle of my scissors is more or less in the same position all the time. Okay. What do you think of that? Okay, that's all I'm going to do on my bee. And now, here's our little booklet. For some interest, I am first of all going to use my ballpoint pen. And where did I put my ruler? Oh, here we go. I'm going to draw a border because I wanted to look nice and finished. Okay. I honestly find that just drawing a border or fake stitching gives any project that you do um, that finished look. So we'll do that. And 
and I'm going to do the same on the other side. So, as you can see, I have given it a little border. Looks so much better. Take away the magazine. And let's see what we have. Well, this is just a book of pretty things. Or little, I don't know, concertina goodie full of pretty things. So this is one of the benefits of sticking it down on the 30 micron metal tape. Look here, you have a self-adhesive sticker. Make your own stickers. Isn't that cute? And you can do this one, copper on copper. Looks just as nice. Or if you wanted to put the metal tape directly on the metal tape, you could. Just mix it up a bit. What else do we have? We have a piece of this left store. So, let's cut a little strip of this and use it as well. And I'm not placing it too close to the, the fold. I don't, obviously don't want it to get bent. And I kind of like the, the look of the silver and the copper. So let's put this one over here. Maybe over there. I think the contrast of the copper on the silver or the silver on the copper really looks beautiful. Okay. So you can see how bright the embossed copper is compared to the one where we have used the Sharpie and um, buffed it off. Difference in the brightness. Okay, that looks lovely. And maybe on this side we can do something different. I'm looking for a piece of my thick tape. Hold on one sec for me. Just a remnant. Scratch, scratch, scratch. Let's see what we have. Perfect. So from my stash, I've got a little piece of 70 micron with um, some alcohol ink on it and there's a nice little piece that I was looking for and here once again I'm going to freehand and uh, you are lovely I hope I haven't done that too big. And then some little flowers. And we'll ink that up. And this is on 70 micron tape. Just a scrap of 70 micron tape. Let that dry. And what else can we have? Um, One of my favorite words, bloom. And ink that. I was going to use this in some way, but 
I actually don't know if I want to. Okay. So as soon as it's dry to the touch, we can buff it. That's a bit wet. Look how cute that is. You are lovely. I'm not very good at drawing flowers, but that's meant to be a flower in case you were wondering. And whoopsie, because I can't cut very straight. I'm just gonna draw the line where I should cut it so that at least it is straight. Cut it a bit smaller there. Think that should be cute so i have i have just drawn a line so that i can cut this straight and that looks pretty cute there I think it's going to fit in perfectly fine but it looks very plain what do we do when in doubt we put a board on so also I'm going to draw a little border here and you see I didn't draw over the the word I'll lift it up so you can see and And see, I, I stopped my line before the little flowers and they're at the bottom. But that looks so much better than the plain um, embellishment. Okay. And let's have a look. I'm trying to see where my little hole is. Remember there was a funny little hole at the top here. Because that is basically the front. You are lovely. Isn't that cute? You are lovely. And maybe on this side, our other word that we did was bloom. I'm winging it so I hope I can cut straight and once again putting some fake stitching around this just to finish off my embellishment look at the difference and Where should I put this on this side? That's upside down. Bloom. Okay, so here's our little concertina goodie, and I'm not going to really do much more with this, but how cute is that? You are lovely. And bloom. And perhaps there you could write a little message or add a little picture or decorate more with your metal tape. And then on this side, we've got a little flower and I just think this is so cute. So what? look there, you can even have it that way or that way. I'll leave it up to you. But right here, just as a reminder, are the little punched circles. So one can, in fact just trying to see there um, 
can make, maybe you can string it up and stick it in a journal. You know, um, that's actually quite cute. But anyway, what do you think about that? Too sweet? Show me what you do with some scrap packaging that you might have in your stash.